Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. We're in the guest segment. Today, the guest is Fact TV. And since I'm the only one here today, I guess I'm the one who's going to take us through this. And, and uh, we've got a lot going on on Fact TV. Even though the COVID-19 is going on, uh, we've been a message hub uh, since the very beginning here, uh, continuing to get out information about uh, what's going on here in the city, our community, and our surrounding area. So we'll uh, continue to do that. And that's where we start things off here, that our emergency broadcast mode is still in effect, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So uh, the latest information regarding the city um, updates to... Uh, what's going on uh, from public health uh, here in Dane County and in the state and CDC. The whole thing, we got it here for you. And we'll keep you up to date, uh, including from uh, the mayor's office as well, uh, on uh, COVID-19, uh, any alerts that we have for you. Uh, as far as the media channel goes, that's where uh, that information is coming from. Uh, we just bring that over to our community channel as well. And uh, this channel is full of the latest and greatest information. And I just pulled some of the graphics that we have going on uh, currently on there. And here's one that you got to be a little bit familiar with, right? Saturday, December 19th, mark your calendars as you'll be uh, heading out to check out the Holiday Light Tour. We'll have a guided map so you can uh, check out uh, all the great uh, participating homes and businesses. And there's even a chance to win some prizes. Well, a prize. A prize of a gift certificate to the Hop House Brewing come right here city of fitchburg yeah we want you to come out for that uh well not come out for that we can go to that too maybe go to the brewing house plus go to the homes right christy yeah it's my wife she knows all right uh how about the fitchburg senior center support your local food pantry with this cookie exchange drive-by in the spirit of giving the senior center's december drive-by event is a cookie exchange Come by the Fitchburg Senior Center on Wednesday, December 9th between 1 and 2 p.m. with your donation for local food and personal essential pantry. In exchange, you will receive a delicious holiday cookie from none other than Lane's Bakery. Whew, sounds good to me. Hope to see you, uh, they say, and would like to thank the Fitchburg Senior Center friends for supporting this, all, this and all of the drive-bys this year yeah if you haven't come out to these they are so much fun we had the veterans last month which was awesome you can check that piece out too we, we were there yeah we were there also the senior center does have their giving tree going on again this year if you haven't uh take uh, part in this it's a little bit different this year uh, for those of you who have but this year we want to give our seniors a greater chance a greater choice excuse me and the ability to independently shop for their needs that's why we're asking for donations of gift cards for grocery or home goods stores, such as Target, Walmart, Walgreens, hy uh, With a value of $25 or above, gift cards can be mailed or dropped off at the Fitchburg Senior Center at 5510 Lacey Road here in Fitchburg. And you can put that attention, the senior tree. And uh, please make sure all your donations are received by Friday, December 18th, so we can give out our gifts before Christmas. And another option uh, is to donate directly to the Fitchburg Senior Center friends so they can purchase and provide meals and other personal essentials for our community members. So, yeah, if you're interested in taking part in that, please uh, help them out. It's a good cause. It is the winter time, and uh, maybe it's time to talk a little safety. We want to make sure that you stay warm and avoid these cold pictures here right frostbite and hypothermia yeah why don't you avoid it so whenever you're going outside be sure to wear scarf or neck uh, uh, a knit mask that covers your face and mouth hat gloves water resistant coat and uh, several layers of loose fitting clothes water resistant boots those are just a few things especially if you're going to be outside when you're outside in the winter make sure your body uh, parts that are most of or <laughs> how about this the body parts that are affected the most. What do you think they are, Christy? Well, number one, the nose. Number two, the ears. Number three, the toes, cheeks, chin, and phalanges. You got it right, fingers. Got to get those and keep those covered. Those are the first areas to get cold. This story is making me cold. Frostbite or hypothermia, what are the differences? Well, the signs and symptoms uh, could include redness or pain in any of the skin area. That might be a first sign of hypothermia. Uh, excuse me, frostbite, uh, white or gray yellow skin uh, and skin that feels usually firm that becomes waxy, warm numbness. Those are all signs of frostbite. Hypothermia is severe. That's shivering, um, exhaustion, confusion, fumbling with your hands, memory loss, third speech, drowsiness. Uh, it could even become unconscious. So uh, definitely if you are cold, get inside and get warmed up. If you find somebody unconscious that's outside and cold, 
uh, get them covered, call 911 right away. Uh, if a person's temperature is below 95, get medical attention uh, immediately. That would be very cold. Also, uh, this is an argument I've had with my mother-in-law, calling her out about wearing bulky jackets and car seats. Don't do it, yeah. That can jeopardize a, a, a snug fit in your car seat's harness, plus can leave your kids uh, that become extremely warm and could even make them sick. So please, 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 please try to avoid uh, packing those kids up in their clothes. I know it's, I have kids, I can vouch for this. It's a pain in the butt to pack them all up, get them, you know, take that short ride and get them unpacked. Then I get it but the safety of that car seat working properly and your kid not getting uh, totally warm, super important. And don't be left out in the cold this year. Never leave your car unlocked or unattended while running with your keys or key fob left in the car, even for a few seconds. Help prevent crime and keep our community safe. Uh, this message uh, was put out last year uh, by the Fitchburg Police Department, and it's a good reminder as it gets cold out. And finally, take home uh, Tuesday's crafts available uh, at the Fitchburg Public Library, ages 2 to 5 and 6 to 12, available Tuesday starting at 10 a.m. I wonder how the last one went because we had that snow, uh, and they built some cool uh, things to cover those crafts, so pretty neat. All right, over on the comm channel, real quick, emergency broadcast, 24 hours a day. You know it. Talking Fitchburg update continues. New shows start after 9 a.m. Then the new show of Talking Fitchburg is at 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, and we have our Talking Fitchburg replays during the day for you to check out. Don't forget our Hispanic news, Discovery With You, news and resources in Spanish. New shows uh, air weekly or bi-weekly, pending. We, uh, we have great volunteers for that, and we're trying to work with their schedule. And don't forget, Talk With Santa and all of your favorite favorite holiday party we're going to be rebroadcasting those and we'll have a special holiday schedule for you coming up don't forget on our government channel we got you covered with the latest and greatest meetings right here on fact tv